GLP in QC. Good Laboratory Practices in Pharma QC Department. Presented by Open Analytical Quality Assurance Manager. Hello Dusto. His presentation May Pharma QC Department May. Good Laboratory Practices K Bare May Bataya Gaya He. QC GLP Introduction Good Laboratory Practices, or GLP is a system of quality management, in quality control department, of pharmaceutical industry, to ensure the uniformity, consistency, reliability, reproducibility, quality, and integrity of the products, manufacturing for the best health. Personnel all QC personnel to be responsible to implement GLP and head QC to be accountable for its compliance. Always wear the company's uniform or apron as applicable in the laboratory premises. Follow the procedures for personnel clothing for entering into the microbiological testing area. Follow entry exit procedures wherever applicable. Follow safety instructions carefully, all the time. Wear safety clothes and equipment as applicable in the laboratory premises. Do not drink or eat in the laboratory. Follow daily routine work plan. Laboratory, the laboratory and its premises must be kept clean. The microbiological testing areas must be clean and disinfect at the laid down frequency as per the relevant SOP. Keep the passageways clear of any complications to facilitate free movement. Keep workbenches of laboratories clean and planned all the time. A lot identification number to all the analytical instruments or equipment. QC instruments or equipments. Ensure all instruments or equipments are qualified as per relevant protocols before putting into use. All instruments shall be kept clean and serviced regularly as per the annual maintenance schedule, contracts or paid service plan with the outside agencies or from the in-house resources maintain all instruments or equipments under calibrated status labeled do not use the instrument or equipments if it is having label out of service do not use keep all analytical balances on a sturdy platform away from air currents and vibrations Friends, always follow the GLP. QC SOP and logbooks must be maintained at the workplace where it can be easily read, opened, and retrieved. Ensure that only current versions of all control documents must available in the laboratory. Ensure all liquid or gas chromatographic columns are numbered as per the relevant SOP and update the usage log whenever columns are used. Measure the temperature of the laboratory at least twice in a day, preferably morning and evening. Friends follow the GLP as all the personnel must be undergo on the job training. Analysts must perform analysis of samples after they are qualified and certified as per the relevant QC SOP. Update the daily analytical work plan and status on relevant documents. Online, the entry of all analytical records along with when analysis is being carried out. Make sure that all laboratory documents are securely placed in polythene folders with proper filing and kept at the designated place. 
friends, follow the GLPS. All analytical work shall be carried out by referring to approved current documents such as standard operating procedure, standard testing procedure, and general test procedure etc. Protect all documents from spillage of chemicals or solutions when performing the analysis. Circle the desired option when multiple options are provided unless specified otherwise. Use only class a category volume trick, glassware, pipettes, burettes, and volume trick flasks. Clean all the laboratory glassware, following relevant procedures, and finally rinse with purified water and dry at a temperature not exceeding 60 degrees Celsius. Friends, follow the GLP as Store all cleaned and dried glassware in a dust-free storage area. Glassware to be checked for any cracks or dirt before using in the analysis. Always cleaned and dried glassware to be used for the analysis. Glassware proposed for residual solvent analysis to be dried at a higher temperature to avoid any trace contamination. To the extent possible, rinse the glassware with the solvent or diluent which is intended for the analysis in case of critical test procedure such as related substances. Friends, follow the GLP as Label all the chemicals and ready-made reagents upon receipt using label as per relevant SOP. After opening a chemical or reagent bottle or container, update the label and indicate the validity period. The validity period shall be indicated for liquid chemicals or reagents one year from the date of opening and for solid chemicals shall be two years from the date of opening. Analysts shall check the appearance of chemicals before usage. If any discrepancy observed, he will not use it and will inform to his section head. Friends, follow the GLP as Chemicals or reagents shall be discarded if they are found having any changes during the examination. Check the validity period of chemicals before use. Expired chemicals shall be discarded as per related MSDS material safety data sheet. Follow the discarding procedure, strictly. Laboratory equipment or instruments, calibration status, shall be checked before use. Friends, follow the GLP, as Tip of the burette and pipette to be wiped, before dispensing the liquid. The laboratory glassware, like pipette, shall not dip directly, into the original, chemical container. All the samples shall store at designated storage area and designated storage temperatures throughout the time it is retained in the laboratory until their destruction. The work area shall be cleaned before starting the analysis. Discolored silica gel or desiccants to be replaced at appropriate times. All the relevant log books shall be updated concurrently. Friends, follow the GLP as All test and standard preparations shall be labeled for all tests with at least having details such as AR number, solution name and appropriate replicate preparation number. Wherever applicable, in a suitable short form in case of space constraint, but in a recognizable manner, sign, and date with legible marker pen. All the standard solutions, reagents, mobile phases, shall be labeled according to the labeling procedure as per relevant SOP. Always use new HPLC vials for related substances and residue analysis. 
friends, follow the GLP, as always, mark the vials of GC or LC analysis, using a legible marker, with proper identification, before loading. Always, ensure that sample set, and instrument method, is verified by other person, before starting of the analysis. Always use separate syringes, for filtration of blank, placebo, standard and sample solutions, during analysis. During chromatographic analysis, to be used blank determinations, at appropriate intervals to confirm and ensure, baseline stability verification, and carry over contaminations. For products or materials, where a say need to be calculated, on dried or anhydrous basis, the day of determination of LOD or water content, should be in same day, on which the assay preparation, is completed. Friends, follow the GLP, as always, label all reagents and volume trick solutions, with the strength and the validity period. If two spectra, chromatograms, thermograms or diffractograms, are recorded as an overlay, shall be print in two different colors, or label each of them on the spectra, so as to clearly or identify both, standard and sample. Always, use the clean spatulas, or butter papers for transferring, and weighing samples. Always, attach all the relevant analytical, raw data obtained, from instruments, such as analytical balances, high performance liquid chromatograph, gas chromatograph, UV spectrophotometer, IR spectrophotometer, polarimeter, refractometer, potentiometer, dissolution tester etc. to the record of analysis or calculation sheet, after labeling the same. Friends, follow the GLP, as Sample and test or standard solutions, shall maintain under protective conditions, if indicated in analytical test procedures. All laboratory analytical standards, shall handle as per the instructions given, in the relevant SOP, and the directions for use. During analysis, if any abnormal or unexpected event occurs, address the same using an incident report. Analysts shall report, all incidents and OOS, to the section in charge or laboratory head, as soon as possible. Retain all solutions, used in the analysis, for tests to determine unit dose quality, such as uniformity of dosage unit, content uniformity, dissolution, and equipment cleaning samples, for content of active ingredient, store on bench top or in refrigerator, as mentioned in the standard test procedure, based on the solution stability, until analytical results are determined, so as to facilitate incident or OOS investigation. Friends, follow the GLP, as always, strike out any wrong entry, with a single straight line, initial and date the same. Never overwrite and never use correction fluids, or erasers. Remove all used glassware from workbenches and send for washing after the completion of analysis. Always avoid spillages and if happens, initiate necessary action to clean. Always place all standards, reagents and chemicals at the designated storage area after use. To the extent possible, always switch off the equipments after use at the end of the day. Thanks. With regards. Open. Analytical Quality Assurance Manager. Or, Maria Wajme. Presentation, Sunani K. Lai, Apka Dani Awad.